Hi, my name is Nermeen, and today I want to present to you a project I've been working on for the last year with my teammate Margarita and Kevin. As I'm sure many of you will know and have experienced yourself, in 2020, many among us have spent more time than ever before with our mobile devices. Our relationships to and through our devices are increasingly complex, and perhaps for none more so than university students. And yet, there remain many gaps in our knowledge of just how students perceive and desire their engagement with these devices. Our paper presents a user-centered iterative design process involving 157 participants in total, concerning the role smartphone plays in student lives, contributing findings from five phases of mixed methods research, and resulting in a final concept solution that enables users to select, configure, and reshape their interactions with our devices. As you might know, many of the decisions we make as designers and developers are driven by a desire to engage users. And our now widespread use of mobile devices shows us how successful we have been in this respect. However, this success has also raised issues at times. More recently, many highly engaging design patterns have been subject to critique for encouraging passive and mindless interactions with adverse consequences for our productivity, mental health and social connectedness. Designed to support mindful interaction has, in contrast, been framed as empowering users to obtain and maintain control over technology use. Today, companies including Apple, Google, Facebook, and TikTok provide in-app tools enabling users to limit their screen time and promoting more meaningful interactions. And yet, the extent to which these features support our digital well-being remains unclear. So what is our solution? We're each familiar with silent and perhaps even quiet modes as supported by Fitbit devices, for example. This prototype solution builds on prior human-computer interaction research by asking what other modes of engagement we might aspire beyond abstinence. Our final technological solution comes in the form of the alone mode, a reframing of the mobile app ecosystem, enabling users to reshape their interactions while alone in order to promote a healthier relationship with their smartphone devices. This prototype solution has four primary features. First, it prompts users to customize their notification settings by choosing which apps and contacts you want to allow during the mode. In alignment with this feature, disable apps are grayed out as the bright colors can prove distracting. Secondly, it supports the creation of motivational messages to help the users persist with the activation of the mode. Thirdly, the user can customize no reply text, which will be sent to individuals trying to reach the user during the alone mode. Finally, the fourth primary feature is the selection of alert keywords, which will allow notifications to be unlocked in case one of the predefined keywords are detected in incoming notifications. This ensures disabled contact to reach the user in case of emergency. In developing the solution, we've come to a rich understanding of the challenges smartphone use poses for students today, an understanding embodied in our concept solution and our design choices. And indeed, we found that students' perception of their mobile devices span from being a multi-tool and willpower battle to a seat of personal value and a judge of consciousness and awareness. This is why we recommend it that designers and researchers seeking to support digital well-being offer choice strategically by letting users define urgent and meaningful interaction, work towards device-level solution by offering system-level solution for digital well-being, provide desired opportunities for consciousness raising by introducing micro boundaries to prompt user reflection and promote more mindful interaction. And finally, design not for abstinence, but alternative forms of engagement in order to design from a positive and hopeful perspective on engagement, rather than propagating values of shame and guilt in relation to digital well-being. Just one example of our broader modal interaction paradigm, this solution empowers users beyond abandonment and distraction in support of digital well-being. In the future, additional long-term studies of this technology prototype and related digital well-being solutions will continue to provide insight into the role smartphone devices play in the life of university students and support the continued development of strategies for the design of meaningful practices of mobile engagement. Okay, thanks for joining. Bye. Bye.